Good afternoon. So these are the quizzes that you should be able to see. These are in the quiz section uh, under activities. If you go to activities and click on it, click down here, you're going to come to quizzes and that's what this is. Your midterm, which again, I'm not best pleased by the fact that the midterm is so early this year, but your midterm is due by next Sunday, February the 18th. It will open up to you at 6 p.m. on Tuesday evening, February the 13th. Um, I encourage you, as I already have mentioned back at the beginning of the semester, to have already downloaded the Respondus browser and monitor so that you would have. So you'll have two hours to take the exam. And I mean that, two hours. There are seven essay questions on it, as I've mentioned before. Three long answer, four short answer. Um, don't ask me for more time. Part of the whole exercise with this is to see how well you know this material already. So you're going to want to be sure that you don't wait till the last minute because if there are any problems with the lockdown browser, we're not going to have time to mess with them um, because, as I said, I've got to get these things graded and get the, um, the grades in, right? All right, so here are the basic instructions for the midterm. You can only use the following sources, your textbook, whichever one it is, whether it's Von Sivers or Bentley or Strayer and Nelson or Berger or Cordas. But you'll need to have access to it on something other than your computer because the Respondus Lockdown Browser does exactly that. It locks down your browser. So you will not be able to move around on your computer. Um, I recommend making sure that you've got access to your textbook and to Diamond and Harari and Frankopin, right here, these guys right here, the ones that we've used so far this semester, that you have access to those as well so that you can um, use what you need from them. As I mentioned before in class, at least one of the questions, one of the required questions, asks you to compare their perspectives, and you're going to need to have um, access to their materials so that you can cite and support your impressions from them, right? I do not encourage quoting. A, it takes too long. You're not going to be able to copy and paste, and if you are copying and pasting, then that's not a good thing. So instead, uh, I encourage you just to have them remember that you have to cite if you are using information, even if you're putting it in, on your, in your own words from someone else. If the Turnitin score matches to anything other than these sources, the entire midterm will be a zero. Bear that in mind. You do not get to go off the reservation and use any sources other than the ones that I have already given you. If the AI grade on your test matches anything over 10%, then I'm grading the entire test as a zero. So be sure that you bear that in mind. All right, you must cite, again, if you're using information, even if you put it in your own words, you have to use citation. You must cite in the form of author and page number. You don't have to worry about the date. You don't have to worry about giving me a work cited. This is a timed test, like I said. I just want to be sure that you know where you're getting your information and you're giving credit to whichever, ever, whichever author you're using, right? Um, seven essay quest, questions. Three of them are long answers worth 20 points. The other four are short answers. Two of them, one long answer, one short answer, are required of the other two long answers and three short answers, I'll give you sets of questions that you may pick. But there will also be extra credit questions. And I encourage you before you ever start writing to read through the test and see what all the questions are because some of the extra credit questions may work for you better than the ones that uh, I give you as options. For the required ones, it doesn't really matter. But for those other ones, you can look through that and if there's something that you think you can answer better or faster and more efficiently that you have a better working knowledge of, then that's, that's where you want to go. You want to maximize your time because you only have two hours to answer these questions. You must use historical examples from the course. Please, I know that Harari particularly uh, likes to get ahead Diamond as well. They kind of pull information from all different time periods and that's part of what makes them so great. But this is a world sieve course and this is the first part of it. So we are only going up to 1500. So anything after 1500 doesn't actually count as you giving me an historical example from this course. So be sure that you are using your textbook and giving me examples from the civilizations that we have talked about so far. Um, you won't have a lot of time to go hunting for information. 
you'll have a little time and you'll need a little time because like I said, you do need to cite, but I don't recommend that you get bogged down early on in the first couple of questions because the whole idea here is to get out as much as you can as quickly as you can, right? Lay the groundwork, then go back later and flesh out details as you need to uh, add to things as you can. Um, but definitely you want to have as many questions answered as you can as thoroughly as possible and as quickly as possible. All right, since you can start the test whenever, remember that you only have two hours. You can only get into the test once. So plan accordingly. Do not wait until 10 o'clock on Sunday night to do it because if there's a problem, I'm not going to be available to answer your questions or to give you more time. In fact, I wholeheartedly discourage that. I think you should start it as early as you can so that if you do have problems, we've got some time to play with so that you can explain to me what's going on and how things are not working. Um, you can go to in fact there's a when you get into the test itself there are a whole block of instructions that explain what happens if you are having trouble with respondus browser that you can email their tech people or talk directly to them because they know these things are critical but again i encourage you don't wait till the last minute because if it's 10 o'clock on sunday night and you're having problems i'm not going to be there for you i've got uh, other things that have to be done and that's going to put us well out of the window for getting you a decent grade the midterm counts 13% of your final grade, and it is the bulk grade for your midterm grade. So bear that in mind as well. Um, if you have questions about the instructions, about what you can and can't do, um, if you are using some textbook other than the ones that I've already pre-approved, email me um, and let me know as soon as possible. If you have questions, email me as soon as possible. Let me know so we can get this resolved. Best of luck.